קרוב יותר אלינו הם אזרחים ישראלים שנולדו בקפריסין, הם צאצאים להורים עקורים מימי מלחמת העולם השנייה, ששלטונות המנדט הבריטי אסרו עליהם להגיע למחוז חפצם ישראל. בתריסר מחנות בקפריסין שהו כ-52 אלף עקורים בין 1946 לשנת 1949. בשבוע שעבר חזרו בניהם ובנותיהם אל אי הולדים. עננים על ראשינו הרוח כאן, המלאכה נאסרה חי שמיים. נרים כוס קפיטן של ברכה קפיטן, עוד נשוב ניפגש על המים. אלמונית קפיטן היא הדרך הזאת, ובנויד היא נינה מפורסמת. אך אם אין היא כיום רשומה במפות, בהיסטוריה אולי היא נרשמת. על השיר הזה האפור הקטן, יסופר אותו שיר ורומנים. ייתכן כי בך קפיטן קפיטן, ייתכנו עוד הרבה קפיטנים. ייתכן כי בך קפיטן קפיטן, ייתכנו עוד הרבה קפיטנים. לברך את כולכם שבאתם. ויש לי משהו לומר, לצטט מישהו, חוזה שרה מנגור, אתם בוודאי חלק מכם קרא את הספרים שלו. מילים שבאות מהלב לעולם לא נאמרות, הן נתקעות בגרון. ואפשר רק לקרוא אותם מתוך העיניים. So, I'm extremely thankful that all of you made an effort to come here, to get together, and to allow me to enjoy your company and your presence. And of course, we will share stories. It reminds me that David, after we had a conversation, David wrote me a note saying, I have never cried. I have been an officer in the army, and I saw hard things, but I never cried. But after our conversation and the connection that we felt, he told me he cried. So, I have to apologize that I am very emotional, <laughs> but I am, that's how I am. We are all, we are all. Are all. <laughs> yes. And I just wanted to make it official, so to speak, to welcome you to our home, to meet my husband, Leonard, my beautiful Chinese <coughs> adopted girls, <laughs> and, um, And I hope that we'll have a wonderful time together, like, uh, just the beginning for, for a long time of events that we will share. Thank you. So we are honored. May I say something? Yeah. We are honored to be here yeah. with you, with all of you. And that you made the effort and to be you made it. all of us. Hasn't it been be you, we wouldn't have been here. Right. It right. was right. you. Who, who orchestrated everyone, wrote us all from all over the country to be here with you. Only you could do it. Only you could do it. I agree. We are in that really kitchen. Bless. We are blessed. Okay, so now when we move on to the meal, which is a traditional girls, listen to that. Hello, hello. אז אולי נשאיר קצת שירים ביידיש? אפשר לשיר? שרה, את מדליקה נרות? Yes, 
תשלח אותה. תשלח אחר כך את התמונות, משה. אני כבר משאירה לשים את הטלפון עם הפצר. אומרים לי כאן החברות שכדאי לעשות את הקידוש. את הקידוש אפשר לעשות. פשוט יגיד. זה מה שאתם רוצים. אז בואו תביאו נבוא קודם ונעשה לפי הסדר. נעשה את זה משודר כמו שצריך. אז תביאו נבוא. אבל היה... אלוהינו מלך קודם מדליקים. מהליקים. מהליקים. בעמוד הראשון יש לנו קבלת שבת. יש פה... משה, יש לך? יש פה שני פזמונים. פזמון הראשון, שלום עליכם. למה אנחנו שווים שלום עליכם? המסורת שלנו היא ש... אני חושב שאתה צריך לחזור לאנגלית. אה, אוקיי. אני חושב שאתה בסדר. אני המסורת היא שכל ליל שבת יש שני מלאכים שמלווים כל בן אדם שמגיע מבית הכנסת, מלווים את השני מלאכים הביתה, הביתה, מלווים אותו ואחר כך עוזבים. ואת זה אנחנו רואים פה בתוך הזמון הזה של שלום עליכם, שאנחנו קודם כל מברכים אותם, שהם הגיעו, מברכים אותם בואכם בשלום, אחר כך אנחנו מבקשים מהם שהם יברכו אותנו, ואחר כך אנחנו נותנים להם את ברכת הדרך. אז בואו נשאיר את זה ביחד, כולנו, את שלום עליכם. אנחנו בשלום עליכם. אה, יאה. אוקיי, סור. אוקיי, איזה סרט בפור? חבר'ה? זה ה... תודה from the uh, synagogue home and this is reflected in the uh, in this poem that we'll sing together and then there's a poem that uh, praises the uh, work of the uh, woman of the house as a woman of valor it's okay so uh, we'll sing both of them and then we'll go to the kiddush which is part of these three parts are the, actually the uh, the whole kiddush טוב, שלום עליכם, מלאכי השלום, מלאכי עליון, יתן מלאכי עליון, מלאכי עליון, מלאכי עליון, מלאכי עליון,
We are sharing. This is the mitzvah bread. We are sharing. And then you this too. You welcome. You know that Miriam made it. Yes, And then for the main course we have salmon, no meat, no chicken as requested, salmon, uh, and various side dishes, uh, all veggies, and yes, my well, dear. Uh, I would like to announce, I might be refusing everything and staying with the plate of the challah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a and lot that of tradition. Right? Tradition. There's another one here. Yeah. There's another one. I will be very happy to share the challah with no, no, no. each and every one of you. You can, when you go home tonight, you can take uh, everything. Few slices as no, much as we want. I have a kitchen. Yes, so everyone has a kitchen. Yeah, take it with we'll you. Save home. it for tomorrow for the um, picnic. But we don't need for the picnic the challah. Why? Well, we I know. We have pito. But <laughs> we we have such good. So if somebody wants to take it home and to enjoy, that's good. So um. Okay. Uh, gefilte fish. <laughs> Raise your hand. <laughs>
Yeah. I've seen a guitar player have uh, 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 some, yeah. something on their fingers. Uh -huh. Also, a yeah, yeah. Also, yeah. 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 guitar yeah. players do. Yeah. No, 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 that's why I'm all over going to Israel. Israel. It was wonderful. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Beautiful sound. How long are you playing? I started when I was five, I stopped to learn Should I get a couple of us? Thank you. Beautiful. Very nice. My mother is from uh, Cluj in Transylvania. My father is uh, from another town, not far from there. They both uh, survived the Holocaust. My mother was in Auschwitz. Um, a little bit about uh, their family. She had, uh, they had a family, they had a family of uh, four, four girls and uh, one boy. Um, and um, out of them, uh, only my mother and her elder sister survived, both of them in Auschwitz. Uh, they were expelled to uh, Auschwitz in uh, 1944 when the Germans uh, invaded uh, Hungary. Hungary was the last country that the, uh, the Germans uh, took over. And uh, the Hungarian jury was the last one to uh, be uh, expelled to, uh, <coughs> to Auschwitz. Uh, mostly due to uh, Eichmann and uh, his deals were the uh, Kastner. This is another story that uh, we're not going to go into it. Uh, it's a uh, different case. But anyway, they were in Auschwitz, and uh, she survived uh, the concentration camp um, just barely, um, and uh, much of it uh, due to her older sister that uh, was um, older, was, uh, eight years older than my, my mother, and she was like uh, her mother. And she took care of her almost on a daily basis uh, in, in Auschwitz. And many times my mother said that uh, had it not be for Sipor, uh, I wouldn't have been here. So uh, this is... Uh, one of the miracles that uh, she survived. She was not a strong woman. She was a very tiny, very weak. And she was uh, sick a lot of times uh, during the, the period of time that they were there. And uh, just because of uh, her sister, uh, she was a very strong and assertive lady that always took care of my mother and uh, looked after her and uh, uh, she knew everything that was going on in the, uh, the camp and when it's going to be a selection, when it's going to be this and that. And uh, she did uh, everything she could in order to, uh, to uh, 
Okay. So once they uh, left, the, the uh, they were liberated uh, by the uh, by the Russians uh, in uh, January uh, '45, and after that uh, they came back. Uh, they came back to their hometown, Cluj. <coughs> Uh, my father was during the war in Transnistria. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah, and it's they survived. Good. Most of the family survived. Just one of the brothers uh, didn't come back, but most of the family came back. And um, due to uh, some business uh, relations that uh, he started to uh, establish uh, there, he found himself in my mother's town. And uh, it so happened that uh, he, he, uh, he came to uh, the same building where they were there. Uh, after the war, the, the joint uh, rented the whole building in, in Cluj and uh, put there all the uh, refugees and all, all the uh, survivors of the, uh, of the Holocaust and, uh, and Auschwitz that came back, all in the same building. And my father came there for business, and uh, he met my mother, and they, uh, he fell in love with her, and um, he wanted to, to date her. So her sister, my aunt, my aunt, uh, told him, well, if you want to date her, that's nice. I have two conditions. First one, you're not going to date her, you're going to marry her. <laughs> and the second condition is you're both going to go to Seven. Palestine. You are taking her to Palestine. Uh, and we all are going to go. They all, she was married already. Yeah. Which is another story. And uh, so he uh, said, well, I'm in. So they married. And they... Uh, Looked for the uh, next ship to uh, to Israel. I mean to to Palestine. And there uh, they came about uh, the uh, the two ships, the two bigger ships, uh, biggest sh uh, refugee ships, Martinian um, ship, the the Pans, Pan York and the Pan Christians. Uh, they uh, embarked uh, the ships on. They boarded the ships on uh, in, in Bulgas. In, uh, on the, on the, uh, on the uh, Black Sea in Bulgaria and made their way to Palestine. Obviously they were caught by the British, they were expelled to, uh, to Cyprus. She was pregnant already with me. Uh, I was born there. Uh, we were in, uh, in Camp 64. To, I don't know. You were in 64. Yeah. I have some pictures here from from them. They didn't look uh, like suffering in the. Uh, to, to, to tell you the truth, they didn't look like suffering in the in the camp. They, I have a lot of pictures uh, showing them uh, kind of enjoying life there. But I'm not sure uh, there was a. Uh, they were in love. Yeah, they were in love. They were in love. Definitely. And. Um, Do you have pictures? Did you bring? Pardon? Did you bring pictures? Yeah, I have some pictures here. Yeah. I have some pictures, and um, um, and then um, stayed there till uh, till they closed the um, the camps. We were probably the last ship that left Tallinn. Forty nine. Forty nine. February forty nine. Eleven. Yeah, February eleven. Forty nine. We left the. Uh, we are the one who closed the. Uh, yeah, so the, uh, the camp. So how long did you stay in the camp? We stayed in the camp from, uh, they came, uh, the camp, uh, end of, uh, on January 48. January 48, the, uh, yeah, January 48, they uh, entered the camp. They, uh, they were brought to the camp uh, January 48 because the, the ships uh, left uh, Bulgas uh, December 47. Um, uh, the early uh, January 48, 
And we left uh, February 49, like a year, more than a year. Why didn't they leave right after 48? Yeah, why so What? You know why they took it so long? Because... To do what? To, to leave. There was a whole, it's, it's a whole story, it's a whole story which I recommend you to, to tell. The, the British didn't let them out. The British, the British didn't let them out even after the uh, establishment of the uh, State of Israel. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of debates going back and forth, back and forth between the government of Israel and the government of the, and the British government to let them out. They were like prisoners. Yeah. And it was not a really straightforward issue. And there was um, debates and discussions going back and forth. And um, finally, they closed the, uh, the camps. But it was not something that, uh, well, now we have a country, we can go. Right. They didn't let them go. Uh, I just want to say something. When I went to Cyprus, they talked, they addressed that. And they said that the reason they didn't let them out, according to the British, that they didn't have enough facilities in Israel to take care of them. Yeah. The, the reason was they didn't want the, the, they didn't excuse. want them to join the, 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 the war, yeah, the war, the war, the military, the war in Israel, so, because the war in Israel was in '48. There was a war in the war of independence, independence between the Arabs and the and the and the and the Jews, and obviously the the British sided with the Arabs. So they wanted to help them, and that's the way they wanted to help them, not letting the Jews come to to Israel to uh, enforce the uh, the Jewish. They didn't want to change the balance of the manpower, you know, yeah. soldiers. Exactly. So they would let the kids out first, uh, sick, and then with the older things, the, of the baby kids and others. Like today, they do special the same thing, like you know, immigration. On the other hand, lots of uh, many managed to smuggle out of Cyprus, by the way. And uh, I'm sorry, we got finished. That's it. Yeah. Um, that's it. They they came to uh, to Chovot to Kazaria uh, in Chovot, and then uh, my aunt and my uncle that I mentioned before, they were uh, they came before us. They came with the Oniata uh, Tinakot, so they they had a home already. They had a home in a, 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 a house in, in Jaffa. Jabalia. Oh, 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 then we went, uh, we were, yeah, we, we got a uh, kind of a something between a tent and a uh, and a hut, between a tent and a hut. In in uh, in Shikuna uh, Mizrach in Rishon Lezion, where we stayed uh, like two years, and then we moved to uh, Bnei Brak, not far from. Bnei Brak? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where? Next next to me, yeah. yeah. Which which street? I grew up. I mean, I until I was six, I was in Bnei Brak. Where in Bnei Brak? Rechov Avuda. רחוב העבודה, או, זה לא מדובק, זה באמת להזכיר, זה לא מדובק, לא, 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 אבל היה רחוק משם, הייתה מאפייה, ומה שאני זוכרת זה שכל שישי הייתי צריכה לקחת את הסיר עם הצ'ול, להביא את זה למאפייה, ואחר כך ביום שבת. חיים 
אז את הבת שלו לא הייתה... רגע, גם חלטים? He was the only one that, that was left from there. There were four brothers, all killed. So... Where did he come from? From Rachovac, Czechoslovakia. So that's the country on the border of Romania, Hungary, and Czechoslovakia. Poland. No, no, no. Hungary. 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 Very close to Hungary. And uh, so, and then my father and my mother actually were, were cousins. And, uh, wow, that's my story too. Yeah. So, <laughs> and that's why I'm so screwed up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you admitted it. I, my parents were cousins too, and they were not from Europe, so uh, it was very common at that time. Very. <laughs> Anyways, well, they wouldn't have gotten married just mm. because of the circumstances. Uh, so, and uh, they met after the war, and I guess they decided to get married. And this is the uh, results. Outcome. Uh, outcome. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so and my mother, uh, so some, something interesting, interesting about my father that he wasn't in the concentration camp. He was in the Czechoslovakian army and mounted, mounted, um, mounted army, whatever. So they were on, on horses and the German came in with tanks and most uh, advanced the army in the 39, yeah. uh, And then they came into Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia actually was the first, the first. country they went in. Exactly. Yeah. And, and they, they didn't even have to shoot them bullets, you know. The, there was no Czechoslovakia the army. So, yeah. so my father was taken as a prisoner of war right at the beginning of the war. And he spent the whole war as a prisoner of the war. Nobody asked. He was a Jewish. He was so lucky. So he had a relatively. Like he was not in a concentration camp. No, no, he was. He would have you somewhere else in a, in a regular. In a regular camp. Ch- a regular uh, Czech, uh, uh, German POW camp. All his life. Wow. I mean, all all through the war. Yeah. Meanwhile, his wife, his brothers, his family, his parents, his kids, they were all killed by the Germans. And he didn't know anything about it because he was in, he relatively, uh, I mean, they, they didn't, the Germans treated the, the Czechoslovakian soldier like human beings, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, he, had not, he didn't know anything. On the other hand, my mother and her brothers went to Auschwitz and she, uh, so my mother 
and my grandmother were together all the time to the to the um, concentration camps. And uh, one interesting thing that uh, I my mother always told me there was a German officer that was a very kind person. And he liked her, and uh, she, in fact, at one time she got so sick and uh, that she almost died. She couldn't move anymore. So he, he actually uh, got some people to help her out. As he was in, in the SS, but he was a really nice uh, officer, and. Um, she survived, and my mother, because of him, actually survived Auschwitz. I was in Israel the other, uh, a few years ago, I mean, maybe 10, 15 years ago, with my son visiting, and my mother was in the hospital. She fell in the hospital, so I stayed at the house, and uh, I went through all of her cabinets, all of her belongings, and I found treasure. Money was stuck, stuffed in pockets and, you know, and, and books. I had to take the other, or the library, I had to take every book and take it for money. And I found letters and I found one correspondence after the war between the officer and my mother. Wow. He was put at the tribunal after the, after the war of all the uh, Germans mm -hmm. and he, he mm -hmm. sent in he knew my mother was already in Israel, or maybe before, I don't know, he got a whole, oh no, I was even at the castle, no, no, before they left, she wrote him a letter, what he did to, well, to she wrote it, to say, I think it was in German, I'm not sure, but by the way, my mom, like everybody, everybody of our parents, spoke fluently seven languages, seven fluently wrote and yeah, yeah, word, and, um, and, uh, I saw, I, I read it, my sister's got it in Israel, and my son and I, and I, t I told my son all about what happened there. And uh, she already, she still has the letter, so they, the, um, the American, or the uh, tribunal of the uh, ally uh, got the letter from my mother, and they saw that he was a nice guy, and they let him go, all out of office, that long jail terms and everything. So I, I will have my sister, by my sister in DC now, really. I ask her to, to give me all the documents she has. So when I get a chance, I'll just take, I'll take a photo of that. Maybe, maybe I took a photo of it. it was so many years ago. Anyways, um, so they, they married after the war and, and they were on the way to Israel. I didn't know it, but I, I got um, I got uh, some docu documentation from Amir. He sent he sent it to me. Incredible! I have it right here. I don't know, like uh, my parents' uh, wedding. The, the people did. Yeah, he did. He did it to me too. Yeah, he did it too. Yeah. And the joint. Now I didn't even know her son Sean worked for the joint in New York. I, I had no clue that the joint was in existence at that time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. It's the same joint. 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 When you see these people in Cyprus all well dressed, don't you think they have the coats and the shoes? No, all from the joint. Yeah. All from the joint. But you think, I think they came from the Holocaust. Don't they have the beautiful Sabah? Sure. Sabah. 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 Sabah.
what we call VIPs. Of course, Golda did not need him. She would call, you know, whoever was the British, the guy said, I'm going. But he arranged all these things, and he would be the host to many famous celebrities. He lived in Fama Gusta, if I'm not. I said, I don't want to buy the good. But, but anyway, so uh, I, just, I just want to finish real quick. And so my my father, I mean, he he was destroyed. I mean, I could see it even when, when I grew up. That after losing all his family, I you could see there was he he, he was de kind of depressed. He tried to 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 continue life and try to, but I saw it. There was there was no. Uh, with thoughts, no, I am with thoughts. Spark, 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 no spark. No spark. And, and but the, the very interesting thing is that they told me quite a bit about what happened in, in the Holocaust to them. So the other story about the kids and, and what happened in the office, and there's a lot of other stories. What happened in the Holocaust, and, and my father told me about what happened, how he was. Um, how they trained with the horses, how to ride them and shoot, and he taught, he taught them so many, and then there was the horse that he even mentioned some names of horses, and he, said he loved it. So he told me so much about, not that much, but quite a bit about what happened before the war, but they never told me anything about the ship, the turtle herzog. I have to go here and from Tamir and find out here. Tamir and find out, that he sent me an article of the Theodore Herzl 2000 or some people and yes. and everything that happened there, they, they, never said, they never told me anything, so it was like a huge gap from the Holocaust till they now, till I like start, I met you guys like a few months ago and I started to, to read and... and uh, so you didn't get, know what ship they came? I didn't know. I didn't know anything. Yeah. Do you have pictures from Cyprus? Um, no, I have. No, I don't have any pictures from Cyprus. In the family, I don't have any pictures. Neither do I. No. In the I books, any, you couldn't find anything. I didn't look at any books. No, the no, books no. were she hiding no, and, and, and stuff. In, in her sifria, your mother's books. Your mother books. Your mother's books. You said she was there were documents and letters and everything. No, ma no, no, no photos. No, there were no pictures of her. No. no. Yeah, the first time he ever saw a picture of his brothers and I sisters. I have a picture of my brothers and sister. That my, it's my father's. Yeah. Okay. Where did it come to? For who? His no. aunt. No, we, my the aunt. Cousin, she yeah. just passed away not long ago. This year. She, yeah, she, she had, had the whole before. documentary with CNN and Batya Vice. Betty Vice. That's the end that yeah. uh, Amir went to uh, to her funeral. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, that's and, and it's, they send me. I have, I have no idea. Man. She took a lot of. There might be more, maybe the the relatives. She looking for. Yeah, there was. I have some, bit, but not from Cyprus. I don't have anything. And nothing from. So how do you know when did you when were you born? You what do you mean? I, I don't know. They had everything. No, but you, you said. They didn't tell you anything, so how did you know? What do you mean? They, so they, they tell me my, my birth? Yeah. yeah of course it. they told me when I was born. They didn't tell me anything about the total earth. Oh, oh, the so the anything basically well, 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 at the camp in Cyprus. I knew I was in the camp, that's it. They never told me what happened at the camp. They never told so me anything like that. Did yes. you ask? Yes. Did yes. yes. you ask? Yes. Exactly. exactly. No, yes. Yes. My Did you ask? My same no. story. We have no. all. They were laying in bunks where like ten exactly. or twelve people like sardines. I, I don't know how she could uh, that's how yeah. they the 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 ship. Yeah. Yeah. Oh the ship. No the the ship. Now I see no, a whole article about it. She never told me anything about it. And I mean it's 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 in I mean I'm I'm gonna go and read more. 
that nothing, nothing, so it's not that it ended, it ended from the time, from the Holocaust, they, they talked about the Holocaust, hardly anything would happen after the Holocaust, and hardly anything at all about Cyprus, and that's it. And then, and then I picked up already from Israel. When did they are? Uh, Maybe well, that was the power of recuperation. You know, you know yes, yeah. yes, I have a lot of parents didn't come to the Holocaust. Yes. Yeah. You were born yeah, when? 48, January 48. January 48. So they came, I, I have a right here. So they came, they came late, late 47? No. Um, middle of maybe. maybe, maybe even in April 47. But you'll find, you will know. find all that in those books, the exact dates, how many people were on the ship, yeah. how many babies yeah, were yeah, born, sure. it's all yeah. documented. Tell them how in Cyprus, in Israel, yeah. 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 in New Zealand, with these huge books. Yeah. Each, yeah. Ship, yeah. Each, yeah. Ship, each ship has a book. I know, 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 I no, 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 no. There's a lot of pictures. It is a lot of pictures. But yeah, it's pictures. But you cannot take it out. You can take a picture, which I did. I took pictures of everything that was related to me. Like but you said, you mentioned your mother yeah. saying about some no, things like lying like there, like, like some things. Yeah. So did she said it? Yeah. My mother said. Them. My mother said that her after delivery, she said it was the best two weeks of her life, being in the hospital, being yeah, taken care of, day. having food, being washed. Yeah. That's that's yeah. all I remember as a young yeah. girl. She was telling me how wonderful those two weeks were in Nicosia. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to hear from you guys from Atikva right. stories about the ship. Because I, I don't know, for example, that there were like 1,400 refugees. 1,414. Excuse me. Yeah, I, I to, to be to exact. To, uh, <laughs> no, they have on... To Mori. Mori you know uh, Right, yeah, but... Yeah. Yeah. No, but he was chasing the ladies. Okay. So I'm going to tell you, like, the uh, table of her, so arrived in Israel in, in, 19, in, in yes, in mm -hmm. 1947. Yeah, I had a little bit of 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 a little you know how much you were the pan questions? 15,000 on the ship. 15,000 on the ship. It doesn't mean that it's all the same. What about the girl in the cathedral? No, no, no. I don't know. 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 Government, you know, army, whatever, for a while. Navy. 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 And then two and your father. Oh, okay. So my father uh, died when he was 52, 52 wow. years old. He was only 17. I was 17. He had a heart attack. Uh, and then he had a few, and then within one year for his first heart attack, he died. So I was in high school, I was a senior in high school. Okay. Really passed away. Uh, How many brothers and sisters? Uh, I have one sister. Uh, my sister lives in Haifa. Now uh, she lives re really uh, right under the Technion. She's younger. She's four years younger. Four years mm -hmm. Pretty much. Haifa. Huh? Haifa. Haifa. And uh, she actually, she's now her son, my, my nephew, uh, works for a big company in uh, uh, Washington D.C. Uh, and uh, she's visiting right now. So I even know. I'm, I'm, not visiting. My, my, I'm going to visit her. Well, she's going to be for a month. 
she had a grand, grandson, grand, 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 So, anyway, so that's that's my story. Uh, sticking to it. Okay. <laughs> okay. You have a great testimony to your parents. <coughs> but I can only say that really all these people who came from the Holocaust and were able to come out from the ashes yeah. and build life mm -hmm. and bring life. Yeah. yeah, and create such wonderful generation. Yeah. That's what we all. Uh, that's what we should applaud to. Yeah, them. yeah. Absolutely. They didn't stay. But they didn't they destroy, destroy us. Exactly. And we defied them yeah. by surviving. So, yeah. Okay, and next, Anna Liji. <laughs> she wants to say. Okay, no, no. So okay, way. I can, I can tell. I don't have much to tell because my parents didn't talk about the Holocaust at all. They were both born in Warsaw. And they were witnessing the bombarding of the first of the September 1939 in Warsaw. And my father was in the army, like Chay Parashim, like my father, in the Polish army. And my maiden name is Vodka. 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 Yeah. Vodka. yeah. That's, a nice. That's a nice name. That's a nice name. That's yeah, a great name. Which was a very non-Jewish name. Mm -hmm. And my parents uh, married in 1936. So in 1939, they were already three years married. And um, my father, since he was in the army, he knew what was going on. And he decided to take my mom uh, away from Poland. And uh, I don't know exactly because they didn't talk. But in a way, no way, they uh, they survived the the war in Russia. Kazakhstan. But on the way, on the way, they told me that they were so desperate that they, uh, yeah, Tashkent, uh, and that they were so desperate that they were lying on on train tracks. This gives me the chills. To get killed. To get killed. And the partisans uh, bombarded this uh, this uh, train and it just didn't pass through. So then they decided they would probably have a chance to live because of that. And and they survived in, in Russia. And my mother died when I was 33, so I was too young to understand <laughs> and ask, how did they come from Russia? to Marseille, to the, to the port of Set, where they boarded the Lanegev ship, where they were not be. I don't know. To the talks. I did not know until I found out. I just found out recently. I didn't know. And I'm thinking to myself, how stupid was I? That they told me, yeah, from Russia. Yeah, they came from Russia. 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 We were in Marseille. We boarded that ship. And I didn't even ask how or, or you know. Yeah. So, anyways, what I want to tell you that they uh, they went on that Lamedic ship, which was a very very small ship, and 630 people were on that ship. On the way, uh, they encountered real real rough waters, and I don't remember in which uh, port that they uh, they parked. And those people that were guiding the ship, whatever, or whatever it was, yeah. or the captain, I don't know, they just ran away. They ran away and they left them without food or anything. And uh, that was the order for all the sailors and the captains on the ship. Once, once the Ship, that the ship is intercepted, the day should I be No, not intercepted. It wasn't intercepted. It was on its way. But they, they encountered rough waters. So I think it was in, in Naples or somewhere with, with the, they just, the sailors. And so how did were, they ship? You know, they were like, um, I think they were um, Greek. Yeah. So they, how did the ship continue? Right, so the ship continued because they sent somebody else. They sent other sailors to, to sail the Replace ship. them. Yeah. Replace them. But uh, food was very, very scarce. My mother was pregnant at the time. With you? With me. And uh, finally they got to Haifa and they were caught. And um, 
and of course, my father told me this. He told me that they were growing sardines and, and all kinds yeah. of uh, yeah. things at the end, but it didn't help. And they came to Cyprus. And I was born on July 26, 1947. The only thing that my mother told me about Cyprus is that uh, it was raining. In the Betty Makot over there, it was raining, and she was just lying on top of me so the rain will fall. And I have a beauty mark right here. And when I was show born, me, show me, show me. <laughs> and I was when I was born, she looked if I have any marks on my on my body. So she could and she could recognize me. And the next day after two days after, she gets a baby and she sees there is no birthmark here. Wow. Yeah. yeah. You're so so she looked yeah, they used to so this might be my sister. Not on purpose. <laughs> Not on purpose, but uh, anyway, so this is um, this is something that uh, she told me about. And I have pictures also that I'll show you tomorrow because I left yeah, it at the hotel, unfortunately. But it's just for tomorrow, yeah. Yeah, I have, tomorrow, I have right. them here. I have them here. Oh, yeah, I have them in the hotel, I forgot. I From the excitement. So anyway, my parents were not Zionists. I, I must admit that. Because my mother would have never, never, neither my father would have never left Poland, you know, if not what happened. She looked at other people that went to Palestine, it's crazy, they go to the desert there, and all, and then she told me that, and I, you know, I'm telling you the truth. They weren't. But after they saw that the whole family was gone, my father comes from eight uh, brothers and sisters, and so my, my uh, mother, and everybody perished. So they decided there was one brother of my mother that lived in Israel, that went to Palestine in 1935. And that's why they decided to come to Israel. That was the only reason. There were not in any Zionist organization or nothing. So when they came and they went to, when they came with Oniata Timakot, I came on the... Uh, That's the Goldas. The Goldas, right. Yeah, you know why, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. And so we came there. And the interesting, why I, I want to tell you that I forgot how I came about to know all this, uh, about this organization, is it's very, very strange. Because uh, my sister-in-law, read in the paper, there was a big article about the Neapolitan in the court, uh, in the paper, I think it was, yes. wow, whatever you do, yeah, she sent it to me, yeah, a few and years she ago. sent it yeah. to me, and whoever signed there was uh, the one that, uh, the Vestalia, uh, what's his name, David Sela, David Sela, so I wrote to him, there was an email there, so oh, I wrote to him, you have the website, yeah. Yeah, nostalgia. Nostalgia. Nostalgia, right. yeah. So I wrote to him and I said, you know, I think the only thing I know about it is my parents came on Kafred ben November, the time I, my mother told me Kafred ben November, that they came and this Sonia Tinokot came on Kafred ben November. There is no way there were two of them at the same right. day. And he wrote me back, I still have the chills. He wrote back and he uh, sent me the manifest of the, of the ship mm. with the names of my parents and myself and I almost dropped. And since then, I wrote to him because he said next year, this was in, when I was 69, so that's two years ago, and he wrote that next year there will be a 70th anniversary and we'll let you know nothing. And I forgot all about it. Well, listen to this. I have a girlfriend who went to Israel, and she uh, she said that she didn't see this uh, girlfriend of hers for years. So another girlfriend set up a meeting, you know, between them because she said they didn't see each other for years. They sit there, and there comes in a neighbor, and she said, you know, I just came from Cyprus. She went to Bahia. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I saw the name. Yeah. And she comes in and she tells them that she came from Cyprus. And, and Neta, my friend, says, oh, my girlfriend is from Cyprus. And she, and of course, I, I talked to Pirchia. And Pirchia connected me with Sima Mano. Mm -hmm. 
And Sima Manolo, of course, told me that, oh, we have one in the United States. Her name is Miriam Bisk. And this is how it all started. So, um, so that's my story. And then my parents came to that uh, Ranana. Mm -hmm. Okay. Olivia, you were there last year. Where is it? You were there. So you were there. Yeah, yeah. כל השנים, לא כל השנים, עד שעד לפני חמש שנים נניח, פגש או שמע שיש אחרים שנולדו בקפריסין ושיש, היה לכם איזה קשר עם אלה שנולדו בקפריסין, או שההורים היו חברים של סכסוכים. זה חדש, 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 אני למדתי חמישה חודשים, אני למדתי יותר מכל ה... נכון, בדיוק. Many died, I was in the history of people that died. Nowadays they still die, they talk about it. So, well, that's how it is. The people I know in Saudi Arabia don't know you only this past year after the trade. So some of those friends that I know, the parents, how did they know each other? Because of Cyprus. And I just found out two weeks ago, a couple of weeks ago, that that particular family, they came also on Hatif. So this is only a little uh, oh, yeah, a little uh, change, a little link, okay? So... I don't know if you remember, in the last 50 years, in the last 50 years, there was a place where 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 there was a place איפה נולדת, מה מספר המחנה, מאיפה הגיעו הוריך, ואנחנו שותפים לאותו מעמד. זה היה מסע מרגש של העבר המשותף שלהם, שעד היום חלקו אותו בדלת אמותיהם, והשבוע, בקפריסין, הם גילו את בני משפחתם המורחבת. שנים אני רוצה להגיע לקפריסין, אבל לא רציתי לבוא סתם כך, רציתי משהו עם משמעות, משהו עם... היסטוריה, מה שעם עבר, מה ש... שיאו של המסע היה טקס זיכרון שנערך במחנה הצבא הקפריסאי. לפני חצי שנה נחנך במחנה הזה אתר זיכרון לכבוד הילדים היהודים שנולדו כאן. ההתרגשות בקרב החיילים הייתה גדולה. לא בכל יום מבקרים כאן הרמטכ"ל, קצינים בכירים, שגרירת ישראל ושגרירים נוספים ושר ההגנה של קפריסין. Thank 
Abaita, abaita, abaita. 